And Global Affairs commentator Kunle Falowo joins me from Indianapolis to discuss this development. Good to have you join us, Kunle Falowo. Now, this Hi, information thanks, um, coming from researchers that about 800 people died early this year due to coronavirus misinformation. Are you surprised by this? Well, I'm not surprised at all. Um, uh, if you recall, not too long ago, President Trump had suggested that um, uh, somebody should uh, try injecting disinfectants and seeing if it was going to work, clean out the system of um, a potential uh, carrier of the uh, coronavirus. Uh, and, and this is coming from the President of the United States. Uh, and some of the supporters are saying, well, the man was just thinking out loud. Uh, and if you have a president of the free nation talking about injecting disinfectant, and unfortunately, some people actually listened to him, and not just only listened to him, they went ahead and, and tried that. And your guess is as good as mine. Most of them ended up in the hospital. So uh, this is uh, coming on the heels of so many other misinformation flowing around on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, blogs, everywhere. And, uh, it, it's very pathetic and it's very saddening that some some medical perfectionists and some doctors are also uh, joining the fray of trying to uh, come up with a quick solution to this to this pandemic. We know it's an international uh, uh, problem, but uh, without a vaccine, uh, this there is no going back. There's not going to be an end to it. But in the meantime. Uh, best believe a lot of people are going to be coming up with crazy ideas. Like you rightly noted, sometimes um, these rhetorics, uh, some even conspiracy, conspiracy theories come from people who um, you know, we consider as leaders around and authorities around the world. Um, how dangerous is this in terms of, in terms of uh, trying to curb the spread of this virus? Well, it's very dangerous and we apply, I personally uh, uh, suggest uh, we should be very uh, uh, watchful based off on what we read online or on social media because you have a celebrity flouting an idea uh, or you have a medical professional like a doctor talking about some hydrochloroquine or something uh, doesn't mean that they have absolute know-how because at this point every medical practitioner the world health organization and every other agency they're trying to discover more information about the pandemic about the virus nobody has 100 percent accuracy on the spread of the uh, of the virus itself not to talk of solutions to it yes we know that there's so many stages of uh, development of the vaccine but the bottom line is we have to be watchful especially our, our politicians uh, opinion leaders like you rightly said uh, our celebrities we need to be careful what we put out there to our followers to 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 read uh, if you don't have enough uh, research if, to, sorry to just al allow me jump in there. quickly and um, we've yes. seen facebook censor um or fact check information they consider wrong on on facebook uh, mm -hmm. and but we've seen twitter also do same so does it burden lie with these social media um companies to ensure that look information put out is accurate uh, not only that that's just a tip of the iceberg uh it's a very good development however that they're actually coming out to say well this has been flagged this has been tagged don't do this this is not accurate that is fine but also uh it's, it behoves on every individual to make sure that you verify every single information out there that it's on there in the system uh, because it's very important that you do so because you're risking your health and not just only you and every other family members of yours. Global Affairs Analyst Kunle Falawa, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for having me.